Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How did women contribute to the civil rights movement? Women played a pivotal role in the civil rights movement, often working behind the scenes and in leadership positions to drive significant change. During the Civil War era, women's rights activists such as Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Susan B. Anthony focused on the abolition of slavery and established the Women's Loyal National League to advocate for the immediate end of slavery and full citizenship rights for newly freed Blacks. In the modern civil rights movement, women like Rosa Parks were instrumental in sparking key events. Parks' refusal to give up her seat on a Montgomery bus in 1955 led to the Montgomery bus boycott, a year-long protest that was largely organized and sustained by black women who used carpools and other alternative transportation methods. Women such as Fannie Lou Hamer and Diane Nash were leaders in various civil rights organizations. Hamer was a field secretary for the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, SNCC, and a driving force behind the Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party, while Nash organized the Nashville sit-ins and sustained the Freedom Rides through the Deep South. Dorothy Height, known as the godmother of the civil rights movement, was a pioneer in political organization and advocacy for women's rights. She influenced leaders like Martin Luther King Jr. and John Lewis, and her work began in the 1930s, continuing through her presidency of the National Council of Negro Women from 1957 to 1997. Ella Baker was essential in organizing the founding conference of SNCC and persuaded Martin Luther King Jr. to invest in the conference. She was a key figure in cultivating the energies of young people involved in the movement. African-American women also used their local communities and existing networks to mobilize support. They organized boycotts, voter registration drives, and demonstrations, often using safe spaces such as beauty parlors and churches to plan and execute their strategies. Women like Ida B. Wells Barnett and Sojourner Truth were vocal against racism and sexism. Wells Barnett exposed the injustice of lynching through her writing, while Truth spoke out against racial and gender inferiority in her famous Ain't I a Woman speech. Mary McLeod Bethune founded the National Council of Negro Women and worked to ensure equality under federal programs, serving as part of Franklin Roosevelt's Black Cabinet. In addition to these leadership roles, women provided crucial support by opening their homes and businesses as safe havens for civil rights workers, preparing food for protesters, and using their careers to raise funds for the cause. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.